Rock Climbing Grandma here. In this video, I'll be going on the Schuylkill River Sojourn. Woo! So one of the cool things about the Sojourn is they have this paddle and everybody's signing it. I think that's really cool. Everybody's names goes on in history basically. And they keep the paddles. They have all the paddles. Okay, so got my setup over here. My usual tent. I got myself this dry bag. I brought two bags with me. I have my backpacking backpack and then just a thing for clothes. And then inside my tent, I did a, went ahead and got a air mattress and my sleeping bag, which is down to 30 degrees. And everybody's all set up on this little grassy plain here right next to the Schuylkill. Schuylkill's right out there. Really nice area. First night. Whoop, whoop. But, um, no, well, that. Susquehanna Life magazine um, had a recipe for it. And Breakfast of the champions. Yeah. Alright, so the first day is uh, crazy hat day. And obviously you're seeing a whole bunch of people with crazy hats, but the general feeling of this is a lot of camaraderie and excitement and fun. This was a gift. <laughs> a gift from the husband with the wife's permission to use it. I just brought a knife to a gunfight. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Don't know that name. It's not, not the Wow, look here. at those stickers. Um, that boat has been a couple places. Not a first time with this guy. That life jacket needs to be zipped up, clipped up. It needs to have all the straps tightened up. It's like two to four feet deep throughout. It's like, oh, you feel like you ought to be able to stand up. Please don't stand up until you're in calm water. This is it. I'm on the river. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, there's like over a hundred of us getting on the There's like people everywhere. This one, yeah. Excuse me for bumping you. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hello. <laughs> what do you think so far? Well, I was the Vista for uh, SRGA back in 2017. You were? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Hey, is anybody excited about today? First bridge. So the river's actually low. That's a bridge. It's actually low and we have a rapid coming up here. So they have us going single file up here. There's a hundred and some boats going on a rapid in single file. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, baby, that was fun. Oh man, I hope I had that angled properly. That was good. <laughs> I was gonna tell you, you might wanna be careful with your chicken hat because I heard there's some birds of prey around here. <laughs> Why it's called Rock Climbing Grandma. Oh. <laughs> I don't get grandma vibes from you. You're very useful. Oh, well, well thank you. Oh my god, that's a big screen. Ah, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep, wants to pull you into the bank. 
Oh my gosh. Wow, dude. This is a fun paddle. Oh my God, I'm going sideways. No, you don't. You're going this way, baby. That was a, little, that was a challenge in Riverdale, right? It's a little challenge. We are about to go over a really scary lock that's like moving fast. They have us going through every 30 seconds. That's how crazy it is. Oh boy. So what is that right there? That's Kelly's lock. Actually called Kelly's Rapids now. There was a, a, a lock on the navigation system at one time. Oh, it was? Yep. Who's next? Who wants to go next? I see everybody bunched up. Come over this way first. And as soon as you get more or less in the center, you can head down. Turn the GoPro on. Set it up. Ready to go. Saw what I was getting myself into and forgot to turn it on. So I just went through the chute with all the rapids. Got tons of water in my boat. But didn't record it. We just lost a person. So the rapid is so big that this is like at least the second or third boat that's tipped. Boy, am I glad I didn't tip. I was so nervous about it, I forgot to turn my GoPro on. There's their boat floating downstream and upside down, so hopefully whatever was inside of it, they're going to be able to catch it. Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're being pulled out over there, you see. Oh yeah, she's wet. It's all good though. They, people get pulled right out. There's so many people here ready to rescue you and uh, if you do happen to go out of your boat, you're good to go. So we literally started in like farmland area where we were at was mostly like trees and stuff. And now we're literally in this like industrial, still an amazing paddle. You're on a beautiful river in the middle industrial area. Just one bridge after another. Obviously it's a river. <laughs> Do you ever think like like this? So we drink literally floating on our drink where do we pull our boats in somewhere safe i hope <laughs> that's a party right there so at each meal stop somebody else volunteers to feed us hi how are you <laughs> thanks for bringing food to us today oh we aim to please <laughs> everybody enjoying their their meals well, we yep, are we it's are. wonderful yay our organization along with uh, dozens of others have been working for quite a while uh, to try to restore the health of the river uh, many people don't know that the very first uh, federal and state funded uh, environmental cleanup projects in the country happened right here on the Schuylkill River. You gotta get a picture of his ears. Do it again. Do it again. His ears. Do it again. I'm already staying dance. <laughs> Loving the music. Hey. Yep. Marengue! Whoop whoop! Yepa! That's a 
remnants of an old bridge. This river is just going through one town after another. And I'm just thinking like, nature's under our feet. We don't see it, it's under our feet. It's there. Forget about it. Lose track of how to take care of it. And it affects us profoundly. But here we are on, on a river in the middle of all these urban areas. Like beautiful city happening right above. Interesting. Looking great, gang. We're going to be just spaced out a couple boat lengths and we stay all the way left, all the way down. Just First day went really well. I'm actually very excited. I feel very tired. Um, actually, let me take that back. I don't feel very tired. I feel invigorated, but I feel tired, but sore. And not even places I thought it'd be sore. I fit my butt. Sitting on your butt all day. Look at that setup. I mean, some people like to go glamping. This is why I call glamping. This is like, they hauled all our stuff for us, they're feeding us, telling us where to go on the river. It doesn't get any, either, any easier than this. Here's our camping site. Here's our bags. Dude, does not get any better. So we're starting out with a flood. I think the last time I was in Lock 60, they told me there was a flood that went 17 feet above. And, and I think that has a lot to do with the development along the river. This is what we look like. 120 of us. Maybe not all of us camping, but 120 of us on the river. And uh, now people are packing up camp. This definitely feels like the old west, like crossing, crossing the land and setting up camp and taking it down again. Good morning, how are you? Rise and shine. Day two of the sojourn. Started out with a rain, but it stopped raining long enough for us to get on the river. And there's probably maybe a storm coming later, so that should be interesting. I had to borrow a hat, so I forgot mine. Look at this, this is gorgeous. Oh, I had a co-worker. Sorry, guys. I'm like, man, I... Of course, I'm right in the middle of everybody. I need you to, to steer for me, please. Could you? Could you? <laughs> he said sure. Yeah, thank you. Could you just get me down this river, please? Okay, I really appreciate it. <laughs> we are now paddling in the rain, and therefore, I cannot give you a clear picture because my lens is wet trying to show you this in the rain I'm probably gonna get wet lens but we are on a little byway here it's called the tunnel of Dudes. that drain that drain is draining directly into the creek and it's draining from the bridge Because without this project that I'm going to tell you about, it's entirely possible the river, the Schuylkill River that we all know, would not look like the river you guys are paddling on. So um, I know it can be hard to envision, and I, I understand you saw some images last night about what the Schuylkill looked like historically, and it can be really hard to um, picture something when it's not the river in front of you that you're seeing. So, you know, if I were to say, well, try to picture the river about a hundred years ago, you know, you might be thinking, oh, there's some dams that I don't see now, or there's there are more or fewer trees, or there are more or fewer less, less buildings. Where you have pockets left that are very still, 
have a lot of coal sediment in them, you're not going to see a lot of growth. just started thinking about the river and what it's been through in the past 100, 200 years. Um, and uh, all the things we should be doing to take care of these resources that we have. It's unbelievable what we can do to the environment. Like, I don't even think we totally realize. It's just so bad. We're actually going to a pretty neat looking place here. Some kind of the older building. You know there's history hiding everywhere around us, like uh, below the river, next to the river. It's just all there. We just don't see it. Until somebody points it out and shows us. Tomorrow you're gonna to go past another power plant that closed down. Down on 422 there when you go down. Oh good. Okay. Yeah, you'll see it's just a little one. I, I worked at the Titus uh, power plant for 28 years. Right along the school. Right along the school the river. I used to watch the soldier, I used to watch them go down the river, the kayaks go down all the time along that wall. <laughs> and I did it! And then you did it! How long have you been soldier? First, the first time. Yeah. This is your first time? Yeah. yeah Tell all those years you watched yeah. it? Yeah, wow, I was always working. Too. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw this river flooded already that was really hot. Matt and man. So, a big part of your life. A yeah, big part of your job. It was a big part of your job working yeah. at that power plant. They used the water from the river, right? Yep. What's your name? Okay. Bill Schaefer. What's your name? I'm Sue. I've been doing the sojourn since 2017. Wow. And what does the Schuylkill River mean to you? Other than connecting with people and nature, it, I call it my river because all along our, through our lives we've lived along the Schuylkill River. I feel ownership of it and, and commitment. <laughs> ownership and commitment, does that make you feel like you need to take care of it in a way? Well, apparently I am the uh, garbage scow as we go along the river. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So I'll pick up stuff I see. I won't get it all, but get at least some of it. Some of it. My name's Brent. And I'm Anna. This is my first year doing a sojourn. I mean, as a couple, we enjoy pedaling the Schuylkill quite a bit. It's yeah. a time for us to get out um, and have some quiet. I love the waterfowl and the birds on the river. Just, uh, yeah. Watching. Cool. Yeah. I think we spend time on the river with our friends as well. That we do. So that's mm -hmm. it means community to us. So hi. Hello. What's your name? David. And uh, how long have you been doing the sojourn? This is my third year. I started in 2018. And um, what does the Schuylkill River mean to you? Well, multiple things, but I think that it's, it's just a way for me to have fun and connect with nature. That I would say is the most important for me. Oh, cool. What's your name? Brian Griffin. And how long have you been doing the sojourn? Uh, I can't say, but I think it's been 10 years. My happy place is on the river from Springfield, Mass. It's a great experience. And it calls me. Oh my goodness, you're getting a little teary. Oh yeah, my no. goodness, it's so special it's, for you. It's a very welcoming place. This is a place where people come to be themselves, be with the river. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of water fights. And the staff that they have that does it just uh, has got it down well. Now, um, do you mind my asking your age? I'm 103 and I look damn good. Uh, uh, 78. You are 78. Well, I'm almost there now. I got a couple of weeks to go. Awesome. Thank you so much. They are trying things. Wow. Look at that river glass. And that's the biggest piece you've ever found. Biggest piece I've ever found. That's pretty cool. Ride your bike through um, the forest gorgeous, you're on an old rail bed, and you get to a bridge and you have to stop because you can't go on the bridge. So we have just fixed that bridge. So that's done. Oh, catch a Susquehanna, catch a fish in the Susquehanna, catch a fish in the Susquehanna, sit on the bank in the mud and the sand. Uh, 
we're just at this concert and it started to rain and thunder and lightning. So let's hope my tent holds up tonight. Day three, a lot of rain just tumbling down. Last night, everybody's uh, doing a little work trying to get their boats uh, empty. <laughs> Okay, yeah, she's our new director. She'll help you in if you're a newbie today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, no! Get out of my way, man! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there was a hand off there. Where could it be a pirate life for me? Go, oh, no! No wake back there somewhere. for holding that so tight. Sure. All there right. Remember me in the films. Okay, I'll definitely <laughs> remember you in the films. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and you'll always know your neighbor. You'll always know your pal if you ever navigated on the Erie Canal. portage around it because obviously we can't float down that and so everybody has to carry the boots from one side and to the other.
is Conchahawken. All right, let me stand next to you so we're both in frame. Am I and supposed to look at the camera? You can look anywhere you want. Okay. <laughs> yes, my name's Mike Sedell. Okay. This is my first sojourn. It's a little tough getting used to battling with mm, about 100 people. Yes. It's, it's anyway, interesting to see because I've, I've never seen the river before I started the trip. Right. It's I've, I've heard about it. You'd hear about, oh yeah, that polluted pitch. Yes. <laughs> it's nice to see that so many people care about it. It's not really a polluted ditch. All it's going to do is get better from here. So. I agree. Uh, my name's Emily. was in uh, my fellowship here down in Philly. I grew up on the on the Asagachi River. And oh. so this is like my second river. So I finally get to come down here and visit some old friends and make new friends and explore this new river. And yeah. uh, I really love it. It's a nice little getaway. What's your name? Karen Bayshore. The Schuylkill River is um, a quintessential part of the counties leading into Philadelphia. It's part of our history, but it's also part of our day-to-day -day life. No, you just can't. My name is Ian Armistead. Um, I used to come down this way in college uh, for soils things for school, and I got to learn a little bit about the geology of the area. I'm from a textile mill town back in Rhode Island, so it's interesting to see the history of how other rivers were used and uh, growing up around that remnant legacy is kind of what got me interested in environmental science to begin with. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name? My name's Doug Fogel. Oh, what do I think of the Schuylkill? Um, it is way more beautiful than I expected. I expected okay. it to be far more industrial, far more built up with docks and houses, and some parts are, but very few. A lot of um, white egrets, great blue herons, kingfishers, green herons, eagles, ospreys, yeah. and the list goes on. How important it is to their survival and, and their migration, because it's linear, it goes all the way up. The other thing it means to me is unbelievable hope for what they've done as far as cleaning it up. Oh my God, it was like an industrial wasteland of silt and denuded, yeah. deforested. Yeah. yeah. And it's um, it's not that now. It's it's quite pretty. Over 100, 200 years, they were able to salvage it. Gives me hope for what can be done. I, I, I don't know how to, to write a letter to thank these people or whatever. Some of them are long gone. Yeah. But the, that energy and effort, um, oftentimes thankless job. Thank you for. Oh, you're very sharing very that. welcome. So what's really crazy is right up there is the Schuylkill, no, that's the Schuylkill, that's 76. And I've always experienced the river from up there, driving by it. Maybe you see it out of the side of your car. And here I am experiencing it like this. I think that's pretty darn cool. <laughs> Should have gone right. <laughs> Maybe it was a last minute decision to go left. Straight down the middle, keep paddling all the way through. Gotcha. That's a bridge over to Maniunk. Oh yeah? Yep. This is the moment that I am floating down the river that I normally look at from these bridges in Philadelphia. This is the moment. 
I finally am floating in this cocoon. <laughs> Pretty cool. So we made it to the canoe club on the Schuylkill and the Wissahickon. That's the Wissahickon. And that's the Schuylkill. I feel like I had to do a mask up mandate for indoors. So if we go indoors here, we have to be masked up. So while we were on the sojourn on the river, things changed. Let me see it, let me see it. You're gonna get one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for not spitting. We have come to the end of our trip. We're at Boathouse Row in Philadelphia. It's been a long, hard, and wonderful trip. Might be something you'd consider in the future. Maybe I'll see you out here on the Schuylkill River. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. See you next time, fellow traveler. Bye!